Hello and welcome to another edition of Dog Blog Live, Cleveland.com's interactive Brown show. It's all about you, the best fans in the NFL. Well, the Browns are back on the field in Berea as training camp is now in full swing. We headed out there this week and talked to fans about their expectations for the season, and here's what they had to say. I'm looking for about an 8-8 eight and eight season this year. I think it'll be improved, but still not over the hump yet. Well, 8-8 uh, eight eight be a, an improvement, but I hope they can do better. I hope they can get it in the playoff, but you know, you've got to be realistic about it also. I'm not a, a Romeo fan. I don't think he's the answer, so I would take 8-8. Eight and eight. The, the, the energy, at least the, the few practices that I've been to, they're much more energetic this year and uh, seem to have some optimism, which is very nice. Great draft. I'm happy with the draft. Uh, they got good size this year. They're real deep at linebacker. I think they're going to be uh, improved. Uh, their defense has always been good, and they're getting better every year. Go Browns! It's good to hear fans remain optimistic despite their struggles in recent years. Now, while we were out there, we shot video of the team on the practice field. Oh yeah, that's right, the NFL won't let us show you that video. I guess we'll just have to lean on you, the fans, to send us your clips about the Browns. Send a link of your YouTube video featuring the brown and orange, and we'll feature it right here in the dog blog for all fans to see. Now at the end of the season, fans will vote on the best video, with the winner receiving an awesome gift package from Cleveland.com. It's now time for our weekly Browns mailbag, where we feature the top posts on our question of the week. Cleveland.com Interactive producer Alana Monroe joins us now with a fan's take on the quarterback competition. Thanks, Joey. Nice Jedi powers you got there. All right, Browns fans, we asked you what you thought about the quarterback situation we have upon ourselves here in Cleveland. Here are some of the best things you had to say. BWOOF216 says, I'll go with Derek Anderson. He's got the biggest arm of the group. NW Dog Pound says, I say that we go with Derek who has excellent arm strength and can get the ball off right away. Bellycheck adds, year three will be the year Charlie comes alive. Kai Hogabob says, I bet my $58 RTA rapid pass that Brady Quinn doesn't start the first game. I'm with you, Kai Hogabob. Now onto this week's topic, Romeo Cornell's future in Cleveland. I'll send it over to Mike Conley and Dan Lobby to debate this topic. Guys? Thanks a lot, a lot. Mike Conley and Dan Lobby back for yet another week of debates. And uh, today we'll talk about Romeo Cornell's future here in Cleveland in regards to his head coaching gig with the Cleveland Browns. And Dan, what does he have to do to solidify his job for yet another season? Well, Romeo Cornell's in a tough spot. He went 6-10 and 10 his first year, 4-12 and 12 his second year. He's got to show an improvement in the win category, but I don't see it happening. I could see this team conceivably being... 2-8 and eight or 3-7 and seven after 10 weeks, they've got to open the season. Baltimore, Cincinnati, and Pittsburgh, they have Oakland in the middle of there. That's a winnable game. But then they have to travel to New England. I don't like the first 10 games of the schedule, and that doesn't bode well for Coach Cornell. You know, when Cornell came to Cleveland, he told the media that, you know, he understands that this league is all about wins and losses. And he understands if he doesn't win, he won't be sitting in that head coach seat. So he understands what's at stake here. He needs to put together, I believe, at least a 500 record through the first four games to still hold on to that head coaching gig. If not, we could see somebody else running out of the helm here in Cleveland. <laughs> and, I mean, let's say they go those first six weeks, three and three. Are they going to win games at St. Louis against Seattle? Are they going to win at Pittsburgh? Are they going to win at Baltimore? His track record says no. And I don't think the second half of the season is going to save him when they have four of six winnable games. I think by then it's too late. Well, we can't exactly tell you what the Browns' record is going to be. However, we can tell you the fans will probably still show up and buy tickets to watch this team play. Whether Romeo Cornell is the head coach of the team at that point in time, well, that's still up in the air. Let's send it back in the studio to you, Joey, and the rest of Dog Blog Live. Thanks, guys. I've got two words for you. Bill Cower. Now remember, you can get in on the debate by using the comments area below. We'll feature the best responses in next week's show. It's now time to look at some of the photos you've sent in. Chuck Quadri submitted this photo of his 1986 Chevy pickup, which features a classy dog on the side. A user going by the name Celiscar uploaded this picture of Joe Thomas at training camp. And Burgoon46 sent in this photo of Josh Cribbs lining up against Eric Wright. Now remember, you can upload your Browns photos of training camp or of your tailgating parties by clicking on the link below. We'll feature the best every week. That does it for this episode. Join us next time as we tackle the battle along the offensive line. Till then, go Browns. <laughs>